Welcome to this first lecture in a series of lectures concerning an introduction to microprocessor and microcomputer. This subject is very essential subject for students in computer engineering, electrical engineering, electronic engineering, instrumentation engineering, and many other departments. The main topics of this lecture will be microcomputer main unit, microcomputer definition, microcomputer components, and microcomputer languages. This is the syllabus of the subject. Any microcomputer consists of three main units. The first one is central processing unit, which is the controller part in a microcomputer. The second one is the main memory, which is a semiconductor memory, which can be either RAM or ROM. And the third unit is at the input-output unit, through which Data, input data can enter to the microcomputer and output data could exit the microcomputer. All these three units are connected by buses. The buses are of three main types. Data bus. The data bus carries data from CPU to main memory and carries data from main memory to CPU. Also, it carries data from CPU to input-output unit and carries data from input-output unit to CPU. The second bus is the address bus. This carries addresses to address memory locations or address input-output ports. The control bus. The control bus carries control signals from CPU to both main memory and input output unit. We can define a microcomputer as a semiconductor device consists of three main units CPU, main memory, and input output. These units are connected by three types of buses address bus, data bus, and control bus. The microcomputer can accept data in binary through its input ports, processes these data according to the program stored in the main memory, and it can output results of processing or commands in binary to the outside world through its output ports. Any microcomputer can be considered to be consists of two sections. The first one is the hardware, which include electronic devices, boards, and case. And secondly, the software, which are programs, can be either operating system to operate the machine, such as MS-DOS, Windows, or application programs, which user can run on a computer such as Microsoft Office, Adobe Reader, Real Player, and many other. Computer languages can be considered to be of two ta main types, the low-level languages, which are close to machine, and the high-level languages, which are close to human. The high-level languages require a translator to be translated into the low-level languages so that machine can understand and run. So the high level languages are those languages which are close to human, such as basic, Pascal, C++, and the low level languages are those languages which are close to machine and can be easily understand by a machine, such as assembly language and machine language. Computer engineers should learn these low level languages. Thank you for listening. See you in the next lecture.